Hello and welcome to Coding Station. Today we'll be coding on brackets. We'll be coding a web page on brackets. Now, whenever we start a code in HTML, we use this tag, this one, and then the head tag. Next, I have put the title as Sir Tim Bonus Lee and close the title tag. Now, this particular line of code is essential to be used in the HTML part of a code in brackets, not in code pin, because in code pin, index.html and style.css or HTML and JavaScript or CSS and JavaScript are automatically linked together. We need not use any particular line of code for that. But in brackets, we need to do that. Otherwise, the code will not work. The two sections like HTML and CSS won't be linked as I'm using only two sections over here, HTML and CSS. So I have used this code. Now about the next line of code. Now I have used a font that I have imported from Google Forms. That's why I have used this line of code. I'll be showing you how I have got this line of code. Okay. So I'll be sharing my screen with you and I'll be showing you how I got this line of code. Now I have opened Google Forms. And uh, you can use the link in the description box of Google Fonts or search fonts.google.com or search Google Fonts in your web browser to get redirected to this page. For example, if I'm choosing this sign tactile or whatever the name is, this one, and I click on select this style, and I have to wait for two seconds. We find this particular section on the right hand side okay so here there are many many links and we need to choose the correct link from here now we need to choose this link from here this whole part and we need to copy and paste it in brackets okay we can um, import other fonts like this following this method so let me go back to brackets next i close the head tag using this code and then i start with the body tag i set the ul class as menu link class li class as links home i, I named the um, li class as links and whatever text will be shown on the li class is home and I close the tag. Next, I go to the next line and start with li class equal to links. Now, you just notice that all these lines have the same li class as links so that it's easier for us to code in style.css. And the same thing we follow. Now, we close the ul tag and we come to the next section id equal to intro class equal to parallax container division class equal to parallax you know image src equal to this thing now in brackets we import a particular folder from our desktop or a pc and there we code we create new folders in brackets like index.html style.css and main.js now there only we, we we need to upload pictures in the folder which we are coding in in our desktop or in our pc and that we are gonna use over here class equal to profile now h1 heading one as i am team bonusly and h2 and the founder of www that is worldwide web we close the h2 tag we close the division tag we close the section tag we break a line and we come to the next section id as bio h1 high close the h1 tag division class equal to line close the division tag and p this p we need to use and you just notice the br tags or the break tags over here that breaks um, particular lines but a particular paragraph into lines okay and we close the p tag over here we close the section tag and we close the body tag then we move on to style.css or coding in css now here you can see that uh, we have set the margin of the body as zero, padding top as 800px, text alignment as center. 
next we went to the dot profile uh, part dot profile is a class so we have used the dot and we have set the width as 300 px margin bottom as 50 px border radius as 50 percent and height as 50 px along with the border style as double border width thick border color black margin top 50 px now i am unable to zoom in so i'm just 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 uh, sharing a portion of my screen and showing you the code of this part okay just look here this is the whole code of profile Now, after that, I move to intro, hashtag intro. Now, in hashtag intro, I set the position as absolute, overflow as hidden, height as 800px, color as black, left, zero, right, zero, bottom, zero, top, zero, opacity, 0 0.83, background, linear gradient, hashtag, 34deb, 0%, comma, Hashtag 34EBC9 100%. Display table height 100%, width 100%. Now, you may ask me, where have I got all these hex codes from? Now, I had already shown you in one of my earlier videos how I have got them from, from Color Picker. But still, I'm going to show you again in today's video. Now, if you are not using Google Chrome, Google Chrome, if you're using any other web browsers, then you need to search www.google.com. And then over here, you need to search for color picker. If you search for color picker in any other web, web browser other than Google Chrome, then you would get different, different color pickers and uh, only uh, Google's color picker is the one which syncs with brackets. So from here, you need to select any particular color, like I select this one. Here you can change the colors, and here you can change the shades of those colors. So here you can see hex code, and here's a particular button. We need to press on it to copy the hex code. We need not copy any of this RGB, CM, by K, HSB, or HSL. We just need to copy the hex code. I hope that part is understood, how we selected the color. And next we come to H1, we set the font size as 40 px, line height as 1.2, font family monospace, font fit bold. H2, font size 30 px, line height 1.2, font family monospace, font fit bold. Hashtag bio, padding 50 px, text alignment center, font size 40 px, dot line. Height 6 px, background color black, width 70 px, margin 8 px, auto, P, max, max width, 450px, margin 25px, auto, font size 20px, line height 1.3, font family, Corinthia, cursive. This also we have got from the Google fonts. This also we have got from your Google fonts. We have copied this CSS thing and we have pasted it just over there. Now this is a different uh, font sign tactile or something and that is Corinthia both are different so we have copied that one from Corinthia I hope I hope this part is understood next we come to dot file explainer display table cell position relative text align center particle align middle links float left color black Padding top 9px, padding left 15px, padding right 15px, padding bottom 9px, font family fantasy, font size 15px. Now, this dot links we have coded for the whole class, whole UI class link. So all those things which were included in dot links are coded at once. I'll show you the live preview at the end of this video. Okay, now coming to dot menu 
Coming to dot menu, the list, list style is none, font family monospace, position absolute, top 10 picks, right 30 picks, red index 10, cursor pointer. Now over here, you should have noticed one thing that this font, 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 font family is fantasy, not coding here. So this is a different font and that one is a different font, font set 50 picks, okay. Now here, why have we selected the cursor as pointer? Because most of us use pointers uh, cursor pointers like the one I am using over here. If you notice the left hand side of your screen, so we have used this one. So li dot links hover. Now, what will happen if I am hovering on the dot links? Now, on the dot links, if I am hovering my cursor, then the font size will be 20 px, font weight will become bold, and color will become dark slate gray. Now, this dark slate gray I have selected from the brackets only. Now, Earlier, I had shown you the same coding of this in code pen, but this one is in brackets. So both are totally different. Okay, now don't say that I have shown you the same thing again. These two things are totally different. We are coding on brackets over here and that time, that time we coded in code pen. So now I'll be uh, live previewing this one. Now, whenever you live preview, if you click on this, um, flash symbol from style.css, then this error will show up. You need to go to index.html and then only when you click on this one, you will be redirected to the live preview page. So once I'm redirected, I'm sharing my screen. Just give me a moment. You see over here that this is the live preview. Now over here, you can see if I'm hovering my cursor on any of these, then what's happening? The text size is changing. The text color is, a ch is changing a little bit. And you see, whenever we are offline, we can code in brackets. We cannot code offline in code pen. We need to be online always whenever we're coding in code pen. But in brackets, whenever we code, we need not be online. If you feel this video has helped you, then don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Coding Station. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.